Eloa, or as they say in Fiji, Bula. Welcome you to yet another lesson in our, in our advanced course, and in this lesson we introduce you to several lessons involving what they call a pattern. And in this case, we're looking at the blocks that have a triangle of numbers. There's one here with a normal triangle. Here's one a bigger triangle on its side. Here's another one over here upside down. Now these are really helpful because if you look at this carefully, in each case these blocks have got a row or a column of cells that are empty. Over here as well as a row. That's important because it enables us to work out what these are fairly easily. Let me explain why. First of all, in this top row, we have numbers which we know cannot go in there because you cannot have a number repeated in the same row, column or block. So they have to go down in here. Therefore, first of all, are there any numbers along here that are already in this block? If you look carefully, yes, there's a three. So we don't have to worry about this three. Um, but what about the one, seven and eight? They have to go in these three cells. They just have to because they can't go there. So let's look at those, them. Now some people would do this with a little wobble to say that this refers to this cell or one and just to help you, remind you and they'll put a 178 up there. Other people will say I'll use my memory. You take your pick. <laughs> okay, let's take the one. Well we know for a fact that a one can't go there or there because there's a one there. So it has to go there. And that you can double check yourself. Top, bottom, middle. Now what's left? We have a seven, we've done the one, we have a seven and eight left and would you believe it becomes a matching pair? Now once you've done that we then look down the column to see if there's a seven or an eight. And if it turns out that when I look down here there's an eight. So what that does is it cancels out that eight and it becomes a seven and this therefore becomes your eight. And very quickly we got three numbers. Let's look at this block over here. These, this row here has four numbers in them. Somehow or other we have to be able to, those numbers cannot be in the middle here. They cannot be in the middle. We cannot repeat that number in that column. So they have to go over here. Now, is there anything that's repeated? Yes. No, no there isn't. I don't think there is. So let's look at the numbers. We're, what we're looking at, we're looking at a 4, 7 and a 9. So the 3 is already there. So that's 4, 7 and 9. Let's do the 9 first because I've just noticed something. The 9 has to go there. No, it doesn't. The 7 has to go there because there's a 9 there. Actually there's a 4, 9. The 4, 9 means a 7 has to go there. Very good. Then you can continue on putting put two, two small 7s there if you like. Centre, left, right. So now we're left with a 4, 9. Well we know we can't have a 9 in here because of a 9 down there. So that has to become the 4. Whoops, yep, that's right. That has to become the 4 and that has to become the 9. And so you've got three numbers just like that. Now let's look at this block here. We have three empty cells here which means that any number along here cannot be in here. Is there any number along here first of all that's already here? Well, I can see a 1 and a 6 I believe. Is that right? Yes, there's a 1 and a 6. So we need to have a one, uh, a two, three, and a four. I'll put them over here with a little dotted line, little wobbly line, so I know that it refers to this 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 uh, block. So we've got a one, three, f it's a one, three, f two, three, four, two, three, four. Somehow we can't have them in here. They have to be down in here. So let's look and see what happens. Two, three, four. Here's a 2 and there's a 3. So therefore, this has to be a 4. Remember, we can't put it here because there's a 4 across there. So that becomes a 4. 
Now, you're left, now you've got rid of your 4, we're left with a 2, 3 and a 2, 3. Let's look up to see what we find. Ooh, here we have a 2, so that makes this a 3. And here we have a 3, so that makes this a 2. And voila, very, in very short time, we've got three numbers. Now, we learnt in a previous lesson that when you've got three empty cells in a block like this, you can work out what's missing there very quickly. Now, you could do that for this one, you could do that for this one, you could do that for this one. Just for fun, I'll just do one of them so you re re revise your memory. Okay, let's say, what is missing? We'll do a count. One, two, three, four, we're missing a five. Uh, six, we're not missing. Seven, we've got five, eight, and a nine. Five, eight, and a nine. So let's look along here to see if any of those fit. Well, look at this. Here's a five, eight. So that means that this has to be a nine. So we've got our nine. Five, that means that this is a five, eight. And that's a 5, 8, underlined. But now let's look up and down, or we'll look up in this case. Look, here's a f 8, so that becomes, cancels this 8, this becomes a 5, and this becomes an 8. So that was pretty quick. Out of three numbers, we've got 9 now. That becomes an 8. And we can double check ourselves. Look, left, centre, right. Right, left, centre. Centre, left, Right, so we've got it right. But you know what I've just noticed? Just because we did that block, we can very easily find out what that number is. And of course, you know how to do that now, don't you? So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for listening. And next lesson, we'll do another pattern. Aloha! Bula!